All right, we're coming back at you again with another video. It's probably been a few weeks since I shot one, so we're going to do a little quick update to the channel of what's happening. And uh, we're on water today. A little too much Friday get high day come on. <laughs> I'm still trying. I'm still trying to recover, so you know. We gonna we gonna drink water today. I said that down here. Uh, yeah, I've been real busy with Sketchy Cuda, so anybody interested in uh, what the hell I do sometimes beyond this channel, uh, working on a 68 Plymouth Barracuda, got another channel, uh, Baron Vine Sketchy or the Sketchy Cuda Project, anybody interested just uh, pop in, see what's up, maybe you like cars and that type of stuff, restoration, so check me out there. Uh, a bunny did come in over the period the uh, new valet from uh, Code Gears. Um we'll not be opening this today because uh, something else that I've been waiting for a while had it on a uh, layaway program which uh, works you know as long as you do it responsibly you can uh, they work rather well this is uh, from uh, Sideshow Collectibles and it's a uh, tweeter head piece Yeah, she pretty massive. <laughs> yeah. This will mark uh, my third male statue, statue or figure. Um, I generally don't collect them. Uh, I had, I think my first was a uh, Spider-Man. It was like Spider-Man with Mary Jane. Uh, and then I have a, a Hordak from the uh, Masters of the Universe. I've never opened a box. It's still in a box like this. And you only got 30 days to open it, see if there's any problems, and which then you can send it back. They do have a really good return policy. Uh, unfortunately, I never opened it, so anyway. Anyway, this marks the third male figure. And we're gonna open this today get it within the 30 uh, day window just came in uh, earlier this week so let's check it out Bam! it's my time baby so let's open this box up this is probably about somewhere in the $600 range I can't remember exactly what I paid for this figure statue whatever it's a uh, uh, polystone statue quarter scale uh, I think it's a quarter scale it's a quarter scale one-fifth one-fifth scale this is a one-fifth scale uh, by tweeter head I did mention that didn't I even though I, I bought even though I bought it from sideshow it's actually a tweeter head piece all right so let me give you an idea what the hell kind of packaging they do so they as you can see they got the little corners you got your phone corner, so they do a great job of packing up at the sideshow uh, to protect your stuff. So, no problems there. Oh, yeah, baby. Let me see. Let me get this damn shit. Oh, shit. Let's not bump the hell out of shit. Uh, yeah, look at that. I already dust proofed my cabinet and uh, started putting up the lighting in here. Uh, anyway, let's pull this bad boy out. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got the uh, Skeletor Maquette from uh, Tweeterhead. It's going to be a badass statue. It's going to pair well with my uh, Tila. And, of course, I, I, I do have Hordak, the other bad guy. Uh, let me know down in, the, down in the comments below if you want me. I haven't opened it yet. If you want me to open up the Hordak that goes to this set. And we'll uh, we'll do that for you. And there's the top of the box. And of course, the old bottom. Okay, we're back. We got the box right down here. And we're gonna open this up and pull out the foam shipping, whatever. All 
All right, so what you're left with is a uh, foam brick. Uh, it does say bottom. This one clearly says bottom. So this is the top. There you go. Whew, oh my goodness, I'm starting to sweat. I need some water. Oh my goodness. Ah, more buck action. Come on now. I'm gonna have to sharpen my buck up. It's getting kind of getting kind of dull. Okay. Away the buck. Put my fingers in there. Let's see if I can kind of tilt it up a little bit to reveal. I don't know what's inside there. Let me. There you go. That's kind of what you got. I'm gonna set this on the floor. Uh, get my chair ready, and we're gonna start to put this together. Okay, we are back. I've uh, taken the time to unwrap each piece. Uh, that way, you're not gonna hear a bunch of ruffling of papers and all that kind of wasted time. So let's start off with the base. Okay. She's quite hefty. We have on the bottom uh, 154 of 1,000. 154 of 1,000. Okay. Um, I believe this was the, uh, if memory serves me, I bought the uh, deluxe edition, which gives you two heads. There's a lot, there's a, a few uh, swap out parts. As far as uh, hands and things of this nature, uh, let's take a measurement of this base uh, real quick. Uh, about five and three eighths there, uh, seven and three quarter to the points. So five and three eighths to here, seven three quarters just to the points. The width of the base, it's a little bit of an egg shape or uh, Oblong, whatever, oval. <laughs> uh, front to back, I'm going to go 10 and 3 eighths. Side to side, 11 and an eighth. 11 and an eighth by 10 and 3 eighths. So we'll set that down here. And uh, pretty cool. It's kind of got a. Uh, a little bit of purple tones with blacks, uh, some little lava maybe coming out of the snake's mouths. Yeah, really cool base. <laughs> Digging this. Got some, uh, oh shoot, let me, uh, got some little scully things up top. Quick look, uh, quick look at it. Well, we'll look at it 360. I don't want to spend too much time here doing that. So, let's get the man out himself. God. Wow. Wow. The shading and texture. Wow, this is pretty, pretty cool. Looks really good. It's got a big, hefty uh, foot and metal peg there, a little pin. Obviously, it only goes in one way. Do be careful with the uh, um, the garb, so it says it were. Okay, she sits in there. Here you go. Very good. Woo. Yeah, it's already getting big. <laughs> um, let's see what would probably go on next. Let's stick on the. Uh, did that go on before or after? Uh, let's see, the cake go on first, maybe? Probably should have watched it. Oh, this is probably on the front, ain't it? Where the hell does this thing go? Oh, Lord. Okay, hold on. It's probably his cake goes on next. Yeah, let's look at that. 
Oh yeah, cape, really big cape. Oop, don't clunk it together. Like I just did. Okay, and that pegs right into his back. Mm, hold on. Not to be, gosh, dog, careful with that. Okay, looks like you probably almost have to lift him up a little bit. Well, got to kind of rock the bottom in first, and then, you know, and the key's in there pretty good. All right, we have the uh, shield tops. Which look like hmm. I don't know. Go like that. I'll go like this. I can go like this. Yeah. That one goes in there. And this one goes right here. Okay. And this, does this go on the back of it, I would think. Okay, that goes over there like that. This is very, very brittle. Be very careful with that. As, as is this, it's very thin. Um, it's probably some kind of uh, resin or something. Probably very prone to cracking, so very careful with that. All right, so uh, my goodness, got to almost look at the pictures. <laughs> okay, so then let's put on his his arm. Got that. And this is all put on with magnets, very strong magnets. Okay, that all slots in there really nicely. Now, you have a choice of two heads. You have a choice of the realistic skull, which looks really cool. Which is the way I probably are going to display it. Okay, so let's uh, say realistic head with a sword. Oh, sorry, that's the other hand. Duh. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> you have the staff. It's really cool. Let's put the staff in. Okay, and there he is complete. Can you see the, let me back up a little, I don't think you can see the, oh, the staff. <laughs> let me back up a little bit more. Is that staff in there now? Shit. All right, hopefully you can see the staff. Yeah, I think you can. Yep, there he is with the staff. And the uh, more realistic face. Now you have the choice, because I bought the exclusive. You can swap out for the sword. And you can swap out. For the more cartoon, faithful uh, head. And now you have Skeletor, the way you know and always loved them in the cartoon. Okay. 
Let's go ahead and uh, swap that hand out again and show you in that way real fast. There you go. Let's come a little closer and we'll do a spin. Oh, this thing's heavy. Okay. So there it is. With the more anime or cartoon faithful portrait. Looking really good. Okay, so now let's measure this guy. <laughs> And we'll get you a weight. Okay, so from the bottom of the we have twenty four and three eighths. Twenty four and three eighths to the top of the staff. Him as a character. Just him as a character. Sixteen and a half. Just him as a character. Sixteen and a half. Uh, he doesn't really appear, you know, front to back. Yeah, he looks like he's probably staying around 11 inches, front to back, left to right. Uh, now you're increasing because of the tip of this cape. Um, this is a subjective guess. So I'm going to go with about 16 inches because of the, the horn, the ram horn of the staff and the tip of this cape so um, this is quite a large piece give me a minute and I will give you the weight of this thing okay so what we got here put it on a medical scale we got 18 pounds we got what uh, we say 24 and 3 eighths or 20 24 and a uh, uh, damn near a half. You might just call it a half inch, 24 and a half height, right to the top. Uh, what was it? 11 front to back and 16 left to right. Uh, so definitely not something you want to stick in the detail. Of. You're going to get into this kind of stuff. You got to spend the money for a cabinet that's going to be able to house it. <clears throat> um, one cabinet I think that is good for probably housing something like this is to the right of me one of these uh, Mills bows um, I like uh, to me it seems like they're stronger I've seen people put quarter scale stuff in here uh, you can double up the glass um, I can't remember what the the glass rating on this was it was quite quite good and the uh, uh, the the supports <laughs> are really good I like their support system um, the only downside with a Rudsta is those little plastic support pieces they use in the front but otherwise I believe the Rudsta's glass is good for 20 pounds so but definitely a uh, you know if you can probably keep them in the bottom of something but yeah man he is cool the muscle detail the body sculpt the head, uh, portrait is freaking killer. I don't care which one you got in there. This is going to be tough to decide which one. I, I originally was going to go with um, the more realistic one. But man, this, uh, this other one is so freaking cool. Uh, paint looks great. Uh, almost looks like there's a texture like they were trying to create a fabric texture to, to things um, 
Yeah, it looks like they even have, uh, they purposely put like a seam line in his cape. You know, like you would st stitch fabric together. So they purposely have lines there. It's not by mistake. That's there to, you know, because fabric, you know, a cape, you can't, you're not going to have one piece of fabric all that big, you know. So you're going to have, it's going to be seamed together. And they've done that. They've kind of mimicked, um, and I'll bring that out on the 360. They've mimicked putting together the fabric. Um, as I said before, the, the base is just phenomenal. I thank you with the snakes, the, the spewing of the lava out there. Um, the feet look good. And like I said, the paint, the texture, the shading, man, it is all there. In the portrait, you're like, oh, man, let's let's swap that portrait out again real quick. This is, yeah, that is tough, man. God, that is tough. That is a tough call. That is a tough call. That, you know, realistic face, just man, that is, that is a tough call. Uh, let's pull out this arm real quick. I think I kind of like the non-sword version. Let's see. Ooh. Hold on now. <laughs> Hold on now. Game changer. Hold on now. We just put the sword in. And that changed our left to right here. Alright. Left to right with the sword. We done added to this thing. I've got almost 19 inches. Yeah. Yeah, if you're going to use that sword, now you've just decreased this thing by another three inches. That sword pokes out there roughly 19 inches. So. Yeah. Uh, which way do I like it? Man, I don't know. That's a... Man, that's a tough call. These swap-out parts are... <laughs> Usually I'm pretty good with deciding right out the gate which swap-out parts I like, and I put the rest away. Um, wow. This is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. Man, and, and all of his armor looks good. It looks weathered. Very detailed. Very cool. Sword looks, everything looks kind of got a, an antique weathered look to it. Yeah. This is really cool. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this thing uh, on the 360 under some better lighting and uh, really see what we think. Stay tuned. All right, we're going to try this one more time. I keep getting audio disturbance noise like electronic hum or something. It's the third time trying to do this, so we'll give it a shot. All right, so let's do all the swap outs. And there he is with that head and that sword. Okay, we'll change out the arm. And there you go with that. Pretty cool. And that is the way I imagined I was going to originally display it. Do a quick 360 spin. Looks really cool. Definitely like it. All right, let's jump in for that uh, portrait. Okay, I think that's about as close as I want to get. That is a really killer portrait. Spin it back this way. 
Oop. Let's get that hand out of it. It'll start to confuse the camera. All right, let's put the uh, other portrait on. Okay, I might want to do a down shot. Give me a minute. I'll raise this up so you're kind of looking more into it. And since we have them here, we might as well back up a little bit and uh, appreciate the cloak. All right, while we got it here, we're kind of up in the air a little bit. Let's uh, take a minute to appreciate uh, some of the detail. I've backed up to focus just, or the, backed it up a little bit uh, for you to see all this nice detail in the weathering. These uh, almost leaf-like pieces here. Appreciate the uh, back armor and all the detailing in that. These the, the hoods, you know, the hood of the cloak. Look at that. Really looks good. Man, look at all that killer detail in there. Let's uh, go back here and appreciate the arm. Look at all that detailing in that arm. Let's go up. Let me zoom back just a bit. Can put it in focus. And we can uh, appreciate that skull. Uh, ram head on the staff. That is cool. Let's come down a little bit. Let's look at those biceps. Oop, wrong way, sorry. Back up a little bit. Look at the abdomen. Man, look at all this anatomy up through here. The arm, the biceps. Uh, let me get a better undershot of that bicep to really appreciate how the sculpt is killer. Well, now, kind of look more into that bicep. Look at all this act happening down here. The anatomy on this is really good. The muscle, the veins sticking out, the shading, just killer. Yeah. Okay, let's take a second to appreciate that uh, arm and the sword. So I'll do a little zoom up on the sword. Very cool. Looks really good. Okay, this is the back side of the sword and the armor. Definitely cool. Let's take a second. I want to just go down and appreciate the cloak. Uh, look at these. This is what I was talking about. These little lines here. You can see them. As if you put a piece of fabric together. So we'll just appreciate the cloak real quick. Let me come down. Let me come down to be fair. Okay. 
Look at all that. And when I get down there, you'll notice there's a little lip where it looks like two two things have come together, two pieces of fabric. It all has a texture to it. I don't know if your camera's picking that up. It probably will in the light. It has texture to it. It just with all the folds and stuff, it just really looks good. Spin him around. All right, start kind of looking at the legs. This waistband. This this is badass, man. He's got a skull. This uh, I don't know piece of fabric or leather. I guess it's trying to imitate leather with uh, metal bits on it. The leg detail is killer. And uh, let's take a look at the feet. We'll zoom up a little bit there. Armor looks cool. Feet look good. Let's bring it all the way around. Let's have a look at this foot. Armor. Man, look at that leg detail. Shh, come on, man. Let's think, look, it's killer. Let me back up. You can see what I'm talking about here on this cloak. See how it's got like a, a lip, like you got an inner fabric to an outer fabric. Really cool. Let's come down and look at that base. Okay, we had to make some camera adjustments, make some lighting adjustments to really get to appreciate that. Uh, might have to do an upward shot so you can really look at those snakes and the lava coming out. Love all the texturing on this. It's really cool. I'm going to do an, an upward shot so you can have a better look at those snake heads. This is a really neat piece. Alright, let's see if you can have a better look at that snake head. Jokers look cool, man. Okay, there you have it. Final thoughts. A killer, killer statue. Wow, this is amazing. Yeah, you grew up with uh, Masters of the Universe. Um, yeah, this is such a cool piece. I missed out on a few other pieces. Um, can't have them all. Got to pick and choose which ones you think are the best. Because these are big. They take up a lot of space. They're heavy. So, yeah, I have to choose wisely. Trust me, I'd like to have more. They still have a life-size bust of Skeletor. And I'll be honest with you, it's uh, very tempting. <laughs> very tempting. He is so cool. Uh, yeah, anyway, yeah, that, that's, uh, that'll be a wrap on this one, man. What a great, uh, what a great piece, man. This thing is awesome. Well, that'll put a wrap on the 360 spin and this video of the one-fifth scale of Skeletor Marquette by Tweeterhead. Uh, man, what a great, what a great statue. But anyway, if you like what you saw, hey man, smash that like button. Perhaps you may want to subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one. Later.